Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Crypto Takeover coming back with another video again for y'all this evening. And on today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Bitcoin markets. Uh, we just recently had a tremendous dump on us. Um, you know, I, this was a uh, kind of expected from our channel, but at the same time, uh, I can see how a lot of people uh, kind of kind of got freaked out by this as well too. Uh, are we starting to make a reversal? That is a possibility. Uh, we're going to take a look at the markets, see what's going on, take a look at the charts. With that being said. If that sounds interesting, stick around, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I make a video every single day on Bitcoin, and let's get started. Taking a look at the 30 minute here, you can see that our money flow is starting to curve up just a tad bit. We're starting to put in another big anchor wave here at the top. Uh, a good sign for the bulls. Also kind of closing below the VWAP here. Um, came back down to retest it a few times, indicating that the bulls do look like they are in control at the moment. So that's another good sign for the bulls. Currently testing our 100 EMA on our 45 minute, or this is our 30 minute, sorry. And then we come down to our 45, 45 still trying to clip into that greenish territory here. And then also maybe putting in another anchor wave at the top. Currently trending above the VWAP, pivot high is at about 9,300. So right now we're just kind of waiting on the market to see what they want to do. Um, some of our time frames, our lower time frames are not in confluence with our mid time frames. And uh, that just means that things could get really volatile right now. So we just need to be aware of that and kind of um, take precautions, uh, make sure that we have our risk, risk management down properly, and then go from there. Then on our 100 or our one hour uh, time frame, excuse me, uh, we can see that we are still trending very deeply in this money flow right now. So we just kind of want to keep definitely that that indicates that the bears uh, do still have uh, the majority of the control in this market. But it looks like the the um, the ball is in the um, is in the bulls uh, playing area right now based on our VWAP too as well. So can see how much room we actually had so when this VWAP dropped down that gave the bulls another opportunity to take control of the market just a tad bit so it looks like they have the ball right now and they're kind of rolling with it uh, let's see if they can end up making it past maybe 9k um, if not then I believe that the Bears will probably still be in control for the time being so uh, currently on the one hour testing the 50 which is at about 9k uh, we haven't quite hit 9k just yet um, but it does look like it's a strong possibility that we could unless we get rejected here at this uh, anchor wave uh, being put in. Then on our two hour, two hour uh, also money flow had just turned red, putting in a double green dot here, starting to move back to the, to the top side. But I believe that that money flow will continue to hold us down just a tad bit. Not quite trending above our 21 EMA, but trying to get there. Take a look at our four hour. Four hour, pretty much the same thing. Money flow is still red right now. And uh, what I'm kind of curious about is, is this money flow going to stay uh, even here? Are we going to come back down to put in a bigger red money flow? Or are we just going to make our way back to that greenish area? So we had a big, nice little curve here on our green money flow. And I would expect maybe something similar to that, but I could be wrong. Uh, it could just be that we just put in this type of money flow here. We already have our big anchor wave here, um, possibly putting in a trigger wave. I would like to see a trigger wave on our four hour. That would be a nice confluence to really indicate that we are headed back to the top of um, possibly this channel that we are in. And so uh, I have a, a broadening wedge out here. Uh, broadening descending wedge which are actually kind of bullish sometimes uh, so I was looking them up yesterday and they are pretty bullish uh, usually uh, we'll come back up and retest maybe this 10.5 uh, area once again if we break above so if we break above uh, resistance here at this trend line which would probably be about about 10k maybe about, probably about 9800 9900 if we break that Resistance, then we'll probably come back up and retest that 10.5 area once again. So we're just going to have to wait to see what Bitcoin wants to do. Does it have the momentum to actually get up to this trend line to break uh, resistance here? 
that's yet to be determined. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. We can see that our Heikinashis are still flowing uh, relatively red right now. So that is another uh, bearish sign that bears do have control of this market right now. Let's go into our six hour. Our six hour is just signal to buy. Um, also money flow is still kind of moving into that reddish area just a tad bit. Uh, but we do have that big green dot down here that has formed. So maybe a potential bottom possibly for sure. And then um, maybe some consolidation that might happen here. Uh, we can see our eight hour has put in a big green dot as well. Um, but then because our money flow is still moving into that reddish area, I'm not super bullish just yet. I, I still feel like we need to break certain key areas of resistance to be able to turn completely bullish right now. And um, we can see that our uh, we're nowhere near our 21 EMA right now. We're actually going to get some death crosses here on our six hour. But that does that means that we could come back up to find um, to kiss the uh, 21 EMA, maybe also the 13 EMA, which is at about 9100. The 21 EMA is at about 9200 right now. And uh, I, I believe that we'll have to probably come pull back up to uh, to hug support or hug uh, the resistance on these 21 EMAs and see what exactly Bitcoin wants to decide to do. So I'm, I'm really tempted to maybe hold a short right now. But at the same time, if um, if we end up pushing back up, uh, I don't want to be uh, left caught in this sh in the short right now either. So uh, as we start to make our way back up, we might have to decide. Uh, what the market wants to exactly do. So if we can take a look at our eight hour here, we're also seeing that uh, we are very far away from our 21 and our 13 EMA support or resistance too. But I think that we kind of found support here and we're, we're trying to see that magnetic pullback to our 21 EMA possibly uh, on our eight hour as well too. So guys, if uh, y'all are interested, I have a, f um, I have a, I have a weekly newsletter that I send out. I'm getting ready to send out a newsletter probably today um, to let everyone know about the Patreon prices that are going up. So please be subscribed to the newsletter. Also, it qualifies you for our giveaways that we have. Um, just make sure that you get signed up and that way um, you can qualify for the giveaways that we like to do. Um, I think I'm going to do a giveaway at 5,000 subs. Uh, it could change. I uh, could do one before that, but make sure you get signed up. Usually I'll, I'll release private videos to my newsletter subscribers. Um, it's usually the stuff that I've uh, already given to my Patreon members, and then I usually like to give it back to my newsletter subscribers later if they're not Patreon members just yet. Um, but also the Patreon group uh, is available right now. Um, I will be upping the prices by the end of uh, February going into March. So y'all have at least until this weekend to become a newsletter or to become a Patreon member um, and get that double package, the Patreon page and also the private VIP uh, signals group page as well um, and Discord uh, for the price of one. But I'll be splitting that up in the private signals group will be cost it will cost a little bit more to join so just a heads up um, so feel free to check that out before the end of this week before prices go up and then also i have the telegram group the telegram group is free to join y'all are welcome to join the telegram group i like to give uh, little updates in there every once in a while um, so join that and I'll, I'll do announcements in there as well um, the Discord group is still free to join, but the private signals area is obviously, um, you need to pay for that. Um, you need to become a Patreon member for that. So, um, also I use the Pro Plus plan. If y'all are interested on TradingView, uh, I use Pro Plus because it allows me to put a few more indicators on the screen while also in confluence with Market Cipher as well. So let's take a look at our 12 hour here. And then our 12 hour, this is where like I still feel kind of bearish right now too, is just because we are started. We haven't even started to move into our red money flow just yet, and I feel that this anchor wave down here is um, just the start of our red money flow. Uh, once we put in our big green dot down here, we'll probably start to turn red on our on our money flow. So even on our 12 hour, uh, we're starting to get some death crosses here possibly as well. I wanted I wanted to come back to so we already got the 21 moving under the 100 as well. And then our four hour, we already had those death crosses happen a while back actually. Let's look at our 
six hour, eight hour. Yeah, our eight hours just now having our 21 cross below our 100. So definitely a big uh, cross there for us as well that we just like need to be an eye on kind of a to determine that we are in some bearish territory right now. But I would, I would also say that we, we do need to come back up and hug one of these uh, moving averages, probably on our four hour, maybe that 21 EMA on our four hour, just to see what the, if the market is actually gonna continue to be uh, in a downtrend or not for the most part. Um, so I would say 91.50 is a good confluence for us to keep an eye on and maybe possibly get in on another position uh, if we break above or below that, or if we find resistance there. And then in our 12 hour, 12 hour, like I said, we still have our red money flow that hasn't quite moved into the reddish area, but will be pretty soon. Probably once we put in this anchor wave down here. Then in our one day, we can see that we completely broke below our 21 EMA on our one day, uh, which we'll probably find uh, as resistance once we move back up, this is a pretty significant drop on our uh, on our one day area. So I did kind of want to come back here and look exactly. Uh, let's leave that on. Turn off SR. Uh, back in our last bull run, uh, how much we dropped below our 21 EMA, um, and if it was a significant amount. And you can see here. Um, during our last bull run, uh, we really didn't drop below our 21 EMA too much. We had this nice little fake out here that pushed us back down to the downside once we ran above our 21 EMA. But then our 21 EMA held really nicely support for us throughout our whole bull market last time. So um, the fact that we are kind of breaking below it right now, we did break below it here but we're pretty significantly underneath it right now and that's just a worry a worrisome for me as well too especially um i mean but it's also nothing set in stone right now we are getting support at our 200 daily moving average and this was a big support for me i have been calling for a retest on this channel for a while of our 200 daily moving average and we finally got that retest now the question is is it going to hold us support it does look like our candle body close is right above it, so that's a good sign too. I did want to move into regular candles to see what might be happening here. You can see that we're still getting support there on our, um, this is actually a bullish candle right here, a nice little bullish hammer candle as well, indicating probably a reversal, but um, so that was confirmed. But then yeah, you can see that this kind of you know, we're getting support here, but um, also, uh, you know, that could change. We'll have to see how this uh, this day closes out, and it's going to be pretty high volatility for the most part. So I want to go ahead and get this video out for y'all. Let's go into our two-day here really quick. Our two-day um, never quite got into that green money flow. It does look like we are clipping back down. Money flow is kind of uh, clipping down pretty heavily doesn't look like we're going to find support at this a zero pivot point. It looks like we're probably going to move back down with our anchor wave here and maybe come back down, put in another little trigger wave possibly to send us back to the upside. So that's another possibility there on our two day as well. And then on our three day, three day, kind of the same thing as well too. Money flow started to clip back down, maybe putting in one more trigger wave for us. Uh, this anchor wave probably will come back down maybe to just help put in another smaller trigger wave here on our blue wave as well too. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as well. Um, so y'all, if y'all are interested, uh, if your strategy is to just buy and hold, hold and buy and hodl, then I would recommend using a Ledger Nano X or S. Right now Ledger is giving away a free Nano S when you buy a Ledger Nano X using the affiliate link down in the description box below. Um, I'd appreciate if y'all use the links in the description to help support the channel. You don't have to if you don't want to though. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend Ledger. I did reviews on them on this channel too as well. The Ledger Nano X, S, and I have the uh, the Treasure. I did a review on that one as well. So y'all can check for those videos if y'all are interested. And then also, if y'all do want to leverage trade, we use Bybit uh, in my signals group. But um, also you can use a few other uh, 
leverage platforms as well. But Bybit, Bybit is the one I'm most um, knowledgeable about. So if you do want to get signed up for it, feel free to get signed up for it uh, using the link in the description box. But then also you want to make sure that you use the test net first. So when you get signed up, message support, ask them how to use the test net. Um, it's like a two-step process. You just want to make sure that you have your algorithm down first, that you are a profitable trader, and um, that you're really just doing your due diligence and learning this platform before you actually deposit your BTC on there. Um, so I'd recommend that if anything. And then also if you are a USA citizen, I recommend Prime XBT to leverage trade. You can leverage trade um, a few different crypto assets, some uh, fiat um, assets, and then also um, our fiat currencies. And then you can uh, leverage trade the S&P 500 gold and silver as well, all using Bitcoin. So that's pretty interesting. So feel free to check that out. Link in the description box. And then also I use the Brave browser to browse the web. You can see here I get paid out monthly using the Brave browser to browse the web and clicking ads. So uh, Brave browser is a freaking awesome browsing experience. It's made by the same people that made Mozilla Firefox and it's all pretty much pop up free. So all the ads that I click on are, are crea uh, created through the uh, Brave content creators um, ad, ad page. So it's none of these like random Google ads or anything like that either. <clears throat> so feel free to check that out. It's a great browser. And then also uh, there's uh, the crypto tab browser, which allows you to mine Bitcoin um, using the crypto tab browser as a background running process. So you can have it on older computers, you can have it on your old phones or your old tablets, just running in the background, mining Bitcoin for you. It actually works. I withdrew like $10 worth of Bitcoin the other day and everything went smoothly. So feel free to check out that link in the description box as well. Follow me on Instagram, uh, if that will ever load, <laughs> and Twitter. Um, feel free to follow me on those platforms. <laughs> you can message me on there if y'all like. Uh, but um, easier to get a hold of probably in Discord if y'all just want to message me on there. And then also, okay, so we're taking a look at our three day here. We still had that kind of rounding top here with our anchor wave being moved to the downside as well. Our four day, four day also very rounded for the most part, maybe putting in some red money flow here, that anchor wave starting to send us back down, sell signal on our four day as well too. I did want to take a look at our two day to see um, if we ever got a buy signal, <laughs> no buy signal. So that's kind of interesting, y'all. Uh, it honestly feels like this whole pump up to the upside here to 10.5 was just a big fake out, to be honest. Um, so we're really going to have to keep an eye on this. And um, I just it's just interesting that our Wells buy sell signal gave us that um, gave us that sell signal a long time ago. And then we ran up and like Basically, now we're pretty much retraced that whole way that we ran up. <clears throat> if y'all are interested on how to set up the whales by sell signal, <clears throat> excuse me, I have that in the Patreon page. So if you become a Patreon member right now, you can um, learn how to set up the whales by sell signal. Also, I tell you how to set up your Aldo EMAs, which are being able to have at least five EMAs on the screen at one time without using the indicate the EMA indicator five different times and uh, having to pay that premium price for TradingView. So you can just have one indicator that gives you five different EMAs. Um, I show you how to set that up in the Patreon page as well too, if y'all are interested. And then. Let's take a look at our four day, our four day we already looked at, five day, five day sell signal as well. Okay, so that's a pretty pretty big confluence there. Uh, we were starting to see this rounded money flow here. We have an anchor wave that has turned, um, has given us a red dot as well too. Maybe a trigger wave will send us back to that downside because we are in the green money flow. It's gonna be a little bit harder for us to get down there, but we could have a trigger wave that'll send us back down to that downside weekly did start to move into that greenish area um, but honestly this could just be another little trigger wave to send us back lower uh, below our view or below our zero point pivot and then we can maybe come back up and start to uh, fulfill that money flow out just a tad bit and then on our monthly all uh, this is uh, one that we're really gonna have to keep an eye on to see how it closes by the end of this week on Sunday and I'm gonna turn back to regular candles here <clears throat> But you can see that we are starting, it is a red, um, 
a red candle. Um, the outline is the actual candle itself. Being that I have the different indicators on here, like the whales by cell signal, it gives us um, this other type of candle. But it is a red candle, and this actually signal may be a shooting star um, if we close below a certain number. If we close probably below like 87 or something, it'll probably be somewhat of a shooting star candle. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that and uh, determine from there So what we need to do. But with that being said, thanks for joining. This is Crypto Takeover coming back with another video again every single day on this channel about Bitcoin. If that sounds interesting, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that we all can get updated every single day. And uh, CTO signing out.